It's been a while since we've talked about Ray Palpatine, as I refuse to call her Skywalker because she's not a Skywalker, she's a Palpatine. But there's some new information that's come out over the past couple of days that I think is pretty funny because it's once again Disney trying to prop her up as the bestest ever. Apparently now she's stronger than Darth Vader and she could have saved him. She could have healed him and brought him back to the light side. I'm not kidding because that's exactly what she did to Ben Solo. When she healed Ben Solo, she took the dark side away from him. I don't know what's going on with these movies anymore. Just, like This movie has been out for, what, two years now? Nobody likes it. Even the people that love The Last Jedi liked it, and the people that hated The Last Jedi like it. We all agree that Rise of Skywalker is a garbage movie, which is kind of funny. But anyway, um, Ray Skywalker, apparently the bestest ever, can wipe away the dark side from people. Check this out. Recently, Lucasfilm published a biography of the Skywalker family going over who and who is not a Skywalker by Rise of Skywalker's definition. Basically, uh, it's, it's almost like that. Well, we, we're not putting out any more movies. How can we continue to make Ray the bestest ever? I know. Let's make her do what Luke Skywalker can't do with the wave of a hand. Make her more powerful than Darth Vader. Everybody. So check this out. This is where this comes from. And it's from Skywalker, a family at war. And it confirms there is a spiritual dimension to this new force heal. And then it played a part in. In Kylo Ren's redemption, healing through the Force is a particular thing, the book observes. Rey transferred her own Force energy to the wounded man at her feet. However, this interaction did more than merely mend a gaping wound. Burned flesh and damaged organs were made whole again, and even the scar on his face disappeared. For the first time in more than a decade, Ben Solo's mind was cleared. So, I want to put this in perspective in case this has changed, and it might have changed, from what I understand, one of the things that Darth Vader did in his spare time, right, when he was in his back, his back to tank and just trying to do things, from what, I, from what I understand, he was in there trying to heal himself, heal his, his wounds and his lungs, at least, so he could breathe without the help of his suit. But apparently Ray can go ahead and just do this at a wave of her hand, making her more stronger than him. Like, I don't think they realize what they do when they put this shit out. Like, nobody is keeping track of anything. But there it is. That's Disney canon. So, if, uh, you know, you go by Disney Star Wars, she's stronger than everybody now. The bestest ever! So they go on to say that there is a sense in which Kylo Ren never truly fell to the dark side, but instead was imprisoned by it. This is hinted at in Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, when he urged Rey to surrender to the darkness, echoing his own experience. Tie-ins have since put a focus on this with the ri- with the Charles Soul Rise of Skywalker revealing the lengths Palpatine went in order to trap Ben Solo at a young age. His mind had always been clouded by the darkness of Palpatine's presence. But when Ben learned he was the grandson of Darth Vader, he felt unable to escape his density, destiny. But Ray's force heal had a, transform, a transformative effect on Ben's mind, freeing him from the Emperor's influence, granting him clarity of thought for no longer than Ben could possibly remember. For longer than Ben could possibly remember. So, with the wave of her hand, she's also able to take the dark side from people. So, if only old Luke had had Ray's powers, he could have went and just cleared Vader's mind, and maybe even the Emperor. Maybe she could have brought the Emperor back. Like, just healed away the dark side. I know you could just heal the dark side away. If only they had been using this ancient power before. So, does that mean, like, baby Yoda, the child? can heal away the dark side? Well, why didn't he heal away the dark side from Kylo Ren before he killed him? Because you know Kylo Ren killed Baby Yoda at Luke's Jedi training camp. So, interesting stuff. Like, I don't think they realize, like, the problems they create with this garbage. But there you go. She's the bestest ever once again. She saved Kylo Ren, brought him back to the light side. She can heal her body. If only Darth Vader was as strong as Rey... Such a shame he didn't have Ray's powers. How many of these books are they going to publish, by the way? 
Like I, I still say this, Rise of Skywalker is the first movie to have paid DLC because the movie is the movie's story is such shit that you have to go and buy all these books just to understand what's going on. Like how the Emperor like sent his soul to Exegol and apparently there was a cult worshipping Sith group there and they explain how he came back to life and the clone processing. Like you got to buy these books to understand it. Now they're still putting stuff out because they still, they had no idea what they were doing when they made this stupid trilogy. So they've got to put these books out to try to explain things because they half-assed it so much. How these people still have their jobs at Lucasfilm. I have no idea why they don't retcon this trash and get rid of it. Also blows me away. Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you let me know what you think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.